I have another flashlight I want to share with you today. Today it is the through night TC15 outsider version. If you're interested in hearing more about this light, keep watching. Before we begin, I just want to thank Through Night for sending me this flashlight so that I could share it with you. So quickly, this is not a light I requested, it's not a light I was even aware that was going to be sent to me, but Through Night asked me to review this flashlight, and it's not the newest version of the TC15, it is actually version 2, and there is a version 3. But I believe the reason they've asked me to review this is because it is such a good light, and it's worth taking a second look at. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go down to the tabletop. I'm going to go over its physical and performance specification. I'll go over its modes of operation. Then, of course, we'll get outside and do some testing. So just before we begin, I'd like to share with you what came with this flashlight. So put it aside for a second. This is the box that the flashlight arrived in. This is the older style box that Through Night sent a lot of their flashlights in in the past. It is a more heavy duty cardboard box and it came with a few things that you don't often see with the newer series of lights from Flashlight. Of course, there is the manual and warranty information. Even this is not something I see in many of the flashlights anymore. A little silica gel thing, not an essential of course, but just a nice extra to keep your flashlight dry and work in order. Did, did come with a little bag that has a lanyard in it, uh, two spare O-rings and a charging port cover. This is what makes this the older style, and we'll talk more about this in a minute, but this is the micro USB charging cable, not USB type C. And something I very rarely see, which is a belt pouch. Now, just before we put this aside, I just want to make a quick comment on the belt pouch. It's nice that they included it. It is an option for carrying this as opposed to putting it in your pocket. But to be quite honest, it's not a high quality pouch. It would work, but it's not something I'd put on a duty belt for law enforcement, security, or any other type of first responder duties. But it works. It's also just a little bit big for some reason. And it's as if it was designed for a slightly bigger flashlight, but again, it works and it's nice to have that included with the light. Okay, so we'll put those things aside. The other two things that are included with this flashlight, of course, is the 3100 milliamp 18650 battery lithium ion rechargeable. It is inside the flashlight and a pocket clip. And again, I just want to draw your attention to this. This is old style. This is not the two-way pocket clip that you see on most of the newer through night flashlights. Now, there's nothing wrong with this. I do have one comment I'll share with you in a few moments time. There's nothing wrong with this because nine times out of 10, most people, including myself, are carrying this down inside of the pocket. And in fact, in some ways, this pocket clip's a little easier to use than some of the newer two-way pocket clips. Very few people are gonna take a flashlight this size and mount it on the brim of their hat like you can do with the two-way pocket clips. So yeah, I just wanna, and as, as I said, there is a comment I wanna make on that in a moment. But before we do, why don't we go through the physical specs for this flashlight? Of course, all the information I'm gonna give you now will be in the video description below. Below. So the overall length of this light is 8.82 inches, which is 122.5 millimeters. The diameter at its widest is 1.06 inches, which is 27 millimeters. And the weight of this light is 4.4 ounces, which is 124 grams, and that's with the battery in it. Taking a look at the performance specifications for this flashlight, at its highest on turbo, this light will put out 2,531 lumens. That'll only last for two and a half minutes and then it will drop down to 800 lumens which will last another 85 minutes. On high this light will put out 1053 lumens and that will last for 86 minutes. On medium 250 lumens lasting for 6.5 hours. On low 22 lumens lasting for 68 hours and on Firefly, 0.5 lumens, 41.5 days. Now, it does have a strobe 
of 830 lumens, which will last for 180 minutes. It does have a cast of 243 meters with a candela of 14,850. So that is a good cast. And as you'll see when we get it outside, it does have a good spotlight and a good combination with floodlight as well. It does have a drop resistance of 1.5 meters and intrusion protection of IPX8. All right, let's take a look at the modes of operation for this flashlight. And it's a common operating system to a lot of the through night flashlights. Everything is done from the single side switch here. It's a nice switch. It's very easy to identify. It has a nice tactile feel. And there is a small LED in the center of it to let you know what the battery status is as well. So it starts with Firefly as usual. It's the long hold and you'll have Firefly. Turn it off, turn it back on, on regular, that comes in at low. If I hold the button down, it'll cycle medium, high, back to low, medium and high again. If I turn it off and turn it on, it has a memory that brings it back to the last zoom lumen setting. To access turbo, it is a double tap, either with the light on or light off. And you can see just how bright that is and to access the strobe light while the light is in turbo, double tap again, and you get the, the strobe light. Now what I thought I'd do at this point is point out some of the features about this light. And as I mentioned, this is an older generation of the TC15. This is version two and there is a version three, but this is also, as I mentioned, the outsider version. And uh, you know, I think what I really like about this is in fact the color. It has a nice deep coyote or medium colored brown look to it. So it really does look the part of an outdoor light. But there are a few things about this light that would have been changed on the version 3. Number one is the charging port and the charging port cover. So here is the charging port. And as you can see inside, it does have micro USB rather than the newer USB-C. Also, it is held on, the charging port cover that is, by a ring that goes right around the outside of the flashlight and slides into a groove there. It does make it easy to replace if you lose it. I think it makes it a little less likely to fall off. It's not just held into a little detent in the flashlight itself. It's just different than what you see on a lot of them. And it does sit very nicely flush inside of there so you're not likely to knock it off. And it should aid in its waterproof. Now, the other thing at this point is the pocket clip. Now, the best way to describe the difference between this pocket clip is to bring in another flashlight that is very similar in many ways. And that, of course, is the Thru-Night TN12 Pro. So this is a right, another light that I uh, reviewed not so long ago. And when I received the TC15, I thought, you know, I think I've got a light very much like that. And I do. It is the TN12 Pro. They both operate on the same 18650 battery. They both have almost identical physical characteristics, with one exception I'll point out in a minute. And actually, they have quite similar uh, outputs and modes of operation, with two exceptions. One, the, the uh, through Night TN12 Pro does have a USB Type-C charging port, which is always nice, and it's nice to have the uh, Type-C charging port because, of course, it is a much faster charge. And it has the tail cap to allow you to access turbo instantly while still giving you all the functionality of the side button like the one on the uh, TC15. Uh, here's what I wanted to show you was the pocket clips. And I think the best way to do that is first to hold the two lights up and then I'll show you a little detail. So if you look, let me see if I can get this lined up properly in the camera, there we go. So the top flashlight in black is the a uh, two-way pocket clip that is common to most of through night's lights right now and on the bottom is the one-way pocket clip I, you know, as far as functionality, but they're pretty much is the same in my books. I think I like the bottom one on the outsider version just being a little easier to use in a pair of jeans. Uh, it doesn't hold quite as snugly as the two-way, but it does go into my pocket and stay there quite easily. Okay, so there is one thing, though, that I noted right away about this, and I think the easiest way to show that is to take the two pocket clips off to give you a comparison. So first, the, from the through nighter version and it is on there 
snugly, but it will come off and it will go back on. And I'll take the other one off as well. All right. And here's the detail that I'm hoping is going to show up on the light. If you look at, this is the, the pocket clip from the Outsider version. And you can see that the edges here are squared off. They protrude a little bit, and of course that's what helps get you get it on the light, but the edges are squared off. So what's the big deal there? Well, take a look at the two-way pocket clip. Do you see how rounded they are on the edge? They still have that same uh, straightening at the top to make it easy to get on the light, but they're rounded. You wouldn't think this, but it makes a difference to the feel in your hand. This squared off edge actually is a bit irritating to my hands on the flashlight. I don't even notice this one, but this one I definitely notice. Now I know what someone's going to say, and you're right, easy to modify, and I'll be honest, I am. I'm going to modify it right after this video. I just wanted to point that out in case some people find that important detail. Having gone over the physical and performance specifications as well as the modes of operation for the Thrunite TC15 V2 Outsider version, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to get outside and do some testing. All right, I'm doing some nighttime demonstrations of the Thrunite TC15 V2 Outsider version. And I'm out doing some camping at one of our national parks and a uh, great place to do some flashlight testing. So I'm going to turn the light on at its low and it's that's the car in the driveway of my campsite. So you can see that's about 15 feet away, 15, 18 feet. So it's illuminating fairly well. Uh, you know, I can move around the campsite, but I think I'd want a little bit more light than that. Take it up to medium. This is what I've been using most of the trip here, is this light at this lumen setting. That's plenty, so you can probably see it's lighting up the trees across the way. Those are 60 to 80 feet, but let's take it up to high. There we go, high. So much better illumination. One more, turbo. And that just lights up the whole campground. I can see everything all through. So there's a nice combination of central focus for spotlight and insufficient floodlight on either side as you can see. All right let's wrap this video up with a few closing thoughts. So as you saw when I got the light outside it has a great combination of spot and flood. Very distinct spotlight and a circle of floodlight around it. Just the right combination for use in the woods or even as an EDC flashlight. In fact the size and weight of this light make it just about as big a flashlight that I'll want to carry in my pocket Yes, you do have that pouch. You can carry it on there if you uh, really want to. Uh, it's not a pouch that I'll likely use, but it's functional and it does work, as I mentioned. Do you know, there is one thing I didn't show you, I don't think in great detail before, that I'll try and show you now. I mentioned in the opening of the video that this is the outsider version of the TC15 version 2. And that's the reason why it is this nice dark brown color. But the other thing, and I'll have to get my face out of the way, is to show you the symbol for the outsider. So the outsider, as many of you will know, is another YouTube channel and has some great content. So what I'll do there, of course, is put a link to his channel in the video description in case you haven't been aware of him and you want to check him out. Okay, so just a few thoughts on the light itself. What do I really like about it? What would I like to see different about this light? Well, I really like the color, and I know that shouldn't make a decision for me, but I just do. I like the color of this light. It's a good-looking flashlight. Uh, I like the performance specifications, and I compared this, at least on paper, because I don't actually have the version 3, to the version 3 and found that the performance specifications are very similar. The version 3 has slightly higher lumen settings, but to be honest, this has slightly longer run times. So it's really, what do you want? I think I like the run times on this better than I do on the version 3. A few other differences I mentioned is the USB port cover right here, how there's a rubber band or silicon band that goes right around the light to hold that on. I did mention that this is a USB, or excuse me, micro USB charging port, not a USB type C, like you will find on the newer version three of this light. For some people, that may be a deal breaker. I can say from experience in charging this light that it took noticeably longer to fully charge this light up than it does really any of my other 18650 battery flashlights that have a USB Type-C charging port. Is it a deal breaker? 
Well, really, that depends. It's up to you how fast you want your light to recharge. Honestly, with the run times that I have, that if I bring this home and it's been run down for after a couple of days use and I put it on the charger, I'm likely going to leave it there all night. I won't even notice the difference, but it is or it does take longer to charge this light. The other thing, and again, not a deal breaker because it's easy enough for me to modify, as I mentioned, is the pocket clip. Now, the pocket clip and this and this configuration is just fine. In fact, I think I like it a lot. It's a little deeper inside here. It grips onto my jean, jeans a, a little bit better. It's this point right up here that is kind of irritating, that squared off edge and the height of its rays. When I hold up my hand, I can feel it. It's actually kind of irritating in my hand. It's not a deal breaker. It is something I will change after this video. I just wanted to share that with you. All right, so the guess the question is, is why would you purchase this light over the newer version 3 that has the USB Type-C charging port? Well, honestly, I think it's the looks of this light. It really is just a nicer looking light. Not a big difference, but the color does make a difference. All right, I think that's everything I can say about this light. What I'll do, of course, is put all the information I shared with you in the video description below, as well as where you can purchase this light and find out more about it. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, put them in the comments section below, as always. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.